guys, you want to do all these workouts, first off, Russian twists. You want to do calf raises. And you want to do the push-up. You want to know why? Because you want to look good naked. <laughs> all right, you guys. You want to have jack calves because you're sick of looking like a beast up here, <laughs> but nothing down here. I got the exercise for you. All right. For this, you just need some type of ledge where you can elevate your feet. You're going to stand, toes facing forward, having just the palm of your feet on the platform. All right? You're going to start, have your body facing forward, chest up, a nice straight body, legs nice and straight, and you're going to push your body up. Okay? All right. Now you're going to come nice and down. Get a nice stretch in your calves, really stretching your muscles out. Going lower than the platform, you see. It's all right if your toes come off a little bit. But make sure the ball of your foot stays on the platform. And back up. All right, now you're gonna go back down, back up, back down, back up. All right, guys, that is the calf raise. The benefits of the calf raise is obviously you're going to get stronger calves, uh, you're going to have overall stronger lower body, and like I said, you're going to have that sexy physique because it's going to be all natural and rounded out, not just the uh, gym rats that have the good upper body. All right, all right you guys, the actions involved in this is the dorsiflexion and the plantar flexion. That is the, jo that is the movement in your ankle from going up and down. All right, you guys, the muscles involved in this is obviously your calves, which is this area here, hiding under the camel. I know you can't see it, but that's okay. Um, better known as the gastrus, okay? That is the meaty part of your calf. There's different variations of this workout. You could do one sitting and raising up your heels. That's gonna work your soleus right down here, but we're not doing that. We're doing standing because we care about the big bulk muscle. Done. All right, you guys, you, you ready for summer? Nah, you're not, unless you got a six pack right here, all right? That means we got to get working on those rectus abdominals. <laughs> yeah, Lee in the background, he's, he's trying to get jacked too, guys. You know, he can watch. All right, for this exercise, we're going to be doing a Russian twist. You're gonna need some type of weight, if you can handle it, with a nice neutral grip. All right, you're gonna take your legs, get a slight bend in them, cross them over, and lift them into the air, giving your body a nice V formation. It's nice and stable, plus it engages your core right off the bat. Grab the weight, hold it in a neutral position, and rotate your core side to side. Make sure you're keeping the weight from touching the ground, thus keeping flexion and tension on the muscles. Sweet. And there we go. All right, the muscles used on this workout, you guys, is your rectus, abdominals, your external obliques, that's your main one, and then obviously your internal obliques as well. Uh, your latissimo dorsal will also be stabilizing you during this workout, but that's the main part. And obviously you're going to do this workout so you get jacked, so you have a bigger squat and a bigger deadlift because there's nothing more important than a strong core. Alright guys, it's time to do some push-ups. First off, you wonder why you're going to do some push-ups? You're going to do some push-ups. You know what? I'll tell you why you're going to do some push-ups. You're going to do push-ups because when the girl asks you where the ice cream shop is, you're going to be able to say, that's where. <laughs> All right? That's why you're going to do some push-ups. All right, you guys, you don't need anything to do this. You can do it at home. You can do it in the gym. Hell, you can even do it in the shower. Wouldn't suggest it, though. All right. So get down on the ground. You're going to have your arms shoulder width apart. Toes. Get on your nice and toes. All right? You guys, it's important to keep your body straight in this workout. Okay? Your back should be straight the entire time. Hands right next to your titties on the ground so you're nice and tight. All right, you guys, you're going to look straight forward and push your body up. Nice and down. Up and down. 
Okay, guys, when you go down, go down till your chest hits the ground, and then immediately back up. All right, guys, that is the push. It's nice, simple, easy. All right, guys, anyone can do it. If you can't do it, okay, then there's also another way you can do it. It's called the moderated push-up. All that is, instead of being fully up, you're just gonna drop your knees, you guys. Same thing, you're still gonna have your chest over your wrists, and you're still gonna go down until your chest touches the floor, looking forward, right back up. It's just gonna be a little easier for you until you're strong enough to do the big boy lifts. All right, guys, in this workout, you're using your biceps, your triceps, your deltoids, your pecs, all right? You're also using your rotator cuff as your shoulders are moving. Okay, now for your actions, all right? You got an elbow extension and flexion. You got your wrist extension and flexion. All right, you got some movement in there. You got some movement in there. Your shoulders are also rotating slightly. All right, you guys, that is what is happening here. Get ripped.